Hi, it's Sue, and congratulations on the purchase of your new ribbon printer. By now you should have gotten the printer and taken it out of the box and connected all the cords. You should have also downloaded the software and activated it, and at this point now you would see on your screen something very similar to what you're seeing in front of us right now. This tutorial is going to show you how to add text and a graphic, which will allow you to do quite a few things just with those basic design elements. So the first thing you'll do is you'll click this new design button. You can see that you can measure in either metric or imperial. We're going to stay with imperial, which is inches for this demonstration. The design width defaults to 1.75 inches, which is, by the way, the size of the ribbon, that white ribbon that came with your printer. It also defaults to 7 inches in length, and we'll just leave everything there and press Create. And this is what we call your design board. This is where all the magic happens. Okay, we're going to add some text in right now. Okay. Um, so I've obviously typed in the text. Here I can change my font if I'd like to. It pulls up all the fonts you currently have on your computer. So if you've loaded in any specialty fonts, you can use those and see how those look when printed. You don't need to worry about the font size. I'll show you why in a minute. And then I think I'm going to make this bold. And then I just press Add, and you'll see that it shows up here on the design board. Okay, now clearly it's too small for the ribbon, so I'm going to want to size it a little bit. And if I want to pull from the corners here, it's going to stretch proportionately, which is really important if you're doing anything with logos. If I pull from the top and the bottom squares, or the sides, you can see that it adjusts accordingly as well. Okay, let's say I had made a typo in my text, for example. If I right-click here, it brings up my text box that I could make any changes that I needed to make, and then I would press OK and they would show back up here in the design board. Now I'm going to add in an image. And here it pulls up the stock folder, which is the default folder of all of the graphics that have been included with your software. And I like this little bumblebee, so I'm going to select it and add that in. And I'm going to just move it over to the end of my design. Now you'll note, if I want to make any changes to any of the elements, whether it's a text, or an image, you need to have this gray box around the image. It tells them, it tells the software which element you're trying to adjust. So this would be where I would size it, okay? If you click in here again, you'll see a circle comes up, and this allows you to rotate. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that, and I think I'm going to go play with the text here. Okay, here's a rotate. If you click inside a third time, it allows you to skew your text which is what I'll do here. I'll leave it like that. And if you click through these, you can see it'll allow you to select any one of these, sizing, rotating, or skewing. Okay? Now this blue line designates the end of your design, and so you can move this anywhere you want. I like to move it really quickly near the end of, the des end of my design. Move this over a little bit. And now I'm ready to print. So I press print, the number of copies, of course, tells it how many repeats of this print it's going to do. And the spacing between prints will be the spacing from this blue line here to the start of the next design. And your heat setting defaults to 12, which is perfect for most of the colors that you would put in, um, in terms of the foils, the ink that's going on the ribbon. If you're using metallics, I would go to either 13 or 14. And then you just print. And if my printer was connected, the ribbon would be printing out of the machine right now. There you have it. Adding just this little text and graphic, you can do so many things in terms of bringing in some money and printing and branding products and doing some wonderful things with your ribbon printer. So that's just a basic tutorial for now. There will be more coming in the future. Look for our monthly newsletters because they always give you information and updates on what you can do with the software. So enjoy printing. If you ever have any questions, feel free to give us a holler. The phone number is 888-289-8101. Have fun and enjoy your printer.